solve the system of equations below, you may want to use the method by substitution starting with the second equation. Uh, I think I may not. <laughs> I, I guess you could. It says you may want to, but I'm thinking no. Because <laughs> I'm looking at this right here and I'm thinking all I got to do is multiply the top equation by a 5. And that'll give me a negative 10 that'll knock out the positive 10 in the bottom. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of my Y's. So that's, that's, my, that's my opinion. So I'm going to multiply this by 5. Remember, everybody gets multiplied by 5. One side, the other side, every single term. So that's going to be 15X minus 10 y equals, let's see, 5 times 20 is 100, 5 times 6 is 130. Yep. And then I'm not going to mess with the bottom equation at all. I'm just going to leave it as 5x plus 10y equals negative 10. And you can see the y's cancel out. And then 15x and 5x is 20x. And 130 minus 10 is 120. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 20 to cancel that out. And x is 6, because 6 times 20 is 120. And then I have to find y. So I'm going to take my x is equal to 6. And I'm going to plug it back into this equation right here where the x is. So that's going to become 5 times 6 plus 10y equals negative 10. And solve for y. 5 times 6 is 30. I cannot add that to 10y because they are not like terms. So I'm going to subtract the 30 from both sides. And I got 10y is equal to negative 40. And then I'm going to take my 10y and divide off the 10, which means I got to take negative 40 and divide it by 10. That cancels. And my y coordinate is negative 4. So my ordered pair should be x is 6 and y is negative 4. That is the point where those two lines would intersect if I were to graph them. So 6 comma negative 4 looks good. Had to do. You rock. All right. Hope that helps. Um. I guess I could go back and do substitution, but nah.